Hello, Horizon Kids. I miss you so much. I just want to make this quick video just to talk to you about something I was thinking. You know, there's so much bad stuff going on around us. If you watch the news or, or if you have heard your parents talking, you know that the world is kind of messed up right now. And it's so easy for us to be uncertain of things or sometimes to, to be fearful and don't know how to act. You don't know when your classes are going to be back. You don't know anything. And it kind of it, it makes us confused, right? So I was thinking about something. How can we protect ourselves? How can we guard our hearts and our minds from all the crazy things that are going around us? So I was thinking... And I remember that there's a passage in the Bible that I love very much that says, it's in the book of Ephesians, um, the chapter 6, and it starts on the verse 10. And it says like this, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against the flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of, his, of this dark, dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. After you have done everything to stand, you stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with the feet fitted with the readiness uh, that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Amen. So here, Paul, he's talking to his friends in the, the, the Ephesians that they need to pray on the full armor of God. If you have watched it like um, warrior movies or if you play games like this, like there, there's warfare, you know that the warriors, they don't go to the war just wearing shorts and, uh, you know, regular t-shirts or anything. Or they're going to be severely hurt when they go to war, they put that full armor. So if anything attack them, they're going to be ready. They're going to be protected. So here, Paul is not saying, God, come and put this armor on me. No, he's telling his friends that they were supposed to put it on. So you can ask me, Katrini, how do I put on the armor of God? Where do I receive it? Where can I go and buy it? Mm -mm. You put the armor of God when you read his word, when you pray, when you have fellowship with your friends who also love the Lord, when you worship, all of this is putting the armor of God. Let me just give you an example of how important it is. Look at this. Imagine this cup with water uh, means the world and all the problems around us. And look, this is a mandarin. I love mandarins. It, it still has the peel on it. So imagine this is the armor of God. And this is all evil in the world. So when you have the full armor of God, look what happened. You don't sink. See? Because the world is around you, but you're not in the world. Your mind is not getting filled by the things of the world. Fear cannot get into you. But let me show you something. Same thing. The world and everything that is evil and the Mandarin without the peel. Let's see what's going to happen to you. So there's no protection here. Uh-oh. It goes straight to the very bottom of the cup. Look at the difference. 
when you have the full armor of God, the world is around you, but you're not in the world. It's not getting a hold on you. It's not making you scared. It's not making, making you desperate. But look at this. Hmm. When you don't have the full armor of God, all the things from the world, fear, anxiety, and all this stuff gets into you. So today what I want to tell to you, when you wake up, talk to God, pray. You don't need to use fancy words. Talk to Him as you talk to your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, your friends. Like, hey Jesus, I'm here. I just want to feel your presence. I, I want to spend the day with you. I want to have fun with you. Just protect me, protect my mind, protect my heart, protect my family today. That's how we can start praying today. Another thing, read His Word. You start like with one verse a day if you think that's too much one chapter a day and you're gonna see how much you're gonna feel stronger you know why because when you read the bible it's like you're putting a helmet around your head i don't believe the devil can read your mind but i believe that he can shoot arrows and if you don't have your head protected those arrows like the bad thoughts they can get into your brain for example you know some days that out of nowhere, you don't feel nice. You feel like maybe nobody loves me. Oh, maybe my parents don't like me anymore. Maybe my friends don't like me. I don't know. You know, bad thoughts come. So I believe the devil is shooting arrows. And when he finds gaps, you know, when our minds are not protected by the truth, of God, like God loves me. God gave me a family who loves me no matter what. God gave me friends and my friends love me. You know, like the truth, when the truth is protecting us, there's no room for the lies of the enemy. So let's put on the armor so we don't get, you know, we don't sink in the lies and all the bad stuff around us. May God bless you. Oh, and don't forget the most important thing, God bless you. See you next time.